उत्पादन तो छाई छेन अलग पानी को कहीं बैशाख में पानी पर्स तो कहीं वहाँ भदो अंतिम में बार बाढ़ी आँच कारण यह सब मौसम ले पानी टाइमली नाइद कु टाइम में पानी पर्न Nepal is considered to be highly vulnerable to the effects of climate change. Current climate variability and extreme events are already causing major impacts and economic costs in Nepal. This study has assessed the current risk of climate variability, the effects of emerging climate trends and long-term future climate change which involves the analysis of a number of different elements. The output focus on economic cost and adaptation responses, which is a more linked with ultimately climate compatible developing pathway in long run, and hope we can incorporate our learning in our national plan where we can address to the poor people who are really needy for adaptation and mitigation. This study estimated the potential impacts and economic costs of climate change. For three major risk areas: agriculture, hydroelectricity, and water-induced disasters, and identified climate-compatible development options to address these. The study used an iterative climate risk management approach to identify key climate-related issues in Nepal. We used a iterative climate risk management approach. So what we did was break down the issue of climate change into a series of risks. And then put together a series of almost building blocks or adaptation building blocks to respond. So those really fell into three main areas. The first was to look at the current impacts of climate variability, and then to look at some of the immediate adaptation responses to that, uh, focusing on the adaptation deficit. Uh, the second one was really to look at what the government's doing in terms of the development plans and how those might be affected by climate change in the future. Uh, and we look at those risks, and then what we do is we say, well, how much. Uh, what might we need to do to respond to those to mainstream climate change into the development plans? And finally, we take a look at the really long term towards 2050, uh, where the really major impacts of climate change occur. And what we do is we look at those risks, and then we work backwards and say, well, what do we need to start doing today? To start planning for those risks in the future, taking account of uncertainty and starting to plan over time so that we can actually learn as we go forward. The study found that in Nepal, the current climate variability and extremes. Events have already major impacts in Nepal. These impacts have been estimated around 1.5 to 2 percent of the GDP each year at current prices. In the long run, these impacts could be severe. For instance, in the studied areas, key risk areas, it will be around 2 to 3 percent of the GDP each year in the mid-century. Therefore. the current climate variability and extremes need responses these responses may need invest additional investment which could be 2.4 billion by 2030 the analysis of the future impacts of climate change on the agricultural sector focused on the three main crops grown in nepal maize wheat and rice using crop model the analysis found potentially high impacts in tharai especially for rice and wheat production but a varied pattern in the hills and mountains including some potential benefits there is a diverse um, agroecological zone in nepal like in tharai it is uh, already hot so increasing in temperature will have a negative impact and in mountains it is uh, a mid uh, temperature uh, region where uh, the increase in temperature will have a mix uh, you know result but in the mountains because it is cold so maybe increasing temperature will be some sort of beneficial uh, on on top of that and the other reason is erratic uh, rainfall uh, because of the change in the climate uh, so those are the main reasons uh, uh, behind the impact of climate on agriculture The analysis of the future impacts linked a hydrological model to a power plant and energy system model to understand how climate change affected dry season flows and reservoir storage recharge and thus future electricity generation and plant investment profiles. The analysis found 
that the future effects of climate change on hydroelectricity sector are potentially large but uncertain, varying by climate projection, river catchment and over time. The analysis of the future impacts of climate change on water-induced disasters focused on the change in intensity and frequency of high flow events and associated floods. The analysis found an increased risk of flood damage costs with climate change, including a higher risk of larger events. The study built national uh, capacity through uh, to assess uh, climate change impact, substantiating uh, global scientific knowledge through national uh, in empirical information at local, national and uh, focusing on different vulnerable groups like women and people at risk. In response to these risks, the study developed an iterative adaptation pathway which starts with current climate variability and then considers future climate change and uncertainty. The study identified immediate options to address the current adaptation deficit with a focus on low and no regret options. Many of these options are included in existing policies and programs or have been identified as priorities for early adaptation, but a priority is to scale these up and address the barriers to wider implementation. The next step is to build detailed sector investment plans to mainstream implementation. As far as outcome is concerned, our target is to achieve that there is increased in awareness, maximum use of economic information and enhanced capacity of government of Nepal so that it helps our government during the planning process and during the negotiation process in international forums. This study report will be an important input to government of Nepal's future policy and investment decisions and it should be utilized by all ministries, departments and stakeholders. There are a couple of things I would like to appreciate about this event today and about the report itself. If nothing more, at least, this exercise has sensitized all of us. It has built capacity of some of the Nepalese scientists and experts. I hope this history has significant importance to which has assist the economic impact of climate change in the key sectors, hydropower, agriculture, and water-induced disaster of the economy. With this lauding and established methodology, such kind of study could be continued in different subsectors as well. I believe that this exercise is a first of its kind in Nepal and for other countries, and we hope that it will create certain foundation for further research in the climate sensitive sectors. This study has generated information, data, that can be used for planning and uh, preparing future uh, adaptation plan of action. And I think uh, this information will be very much valuable <coughs> to planners like us, even the researchers, <coughs> academicians, and, and development practitioners, and maybe the students, to everybody. This is a very significant report. Uh, there are only seven or nine such reports that have been developed. But in the least developed countries, this is perhaps one of the first reports where in two sectors, in agriculture and water, the cost of climate change, economic cost of climate change has been calculated for the first time. The report has used a methodology which is a pondering uh, methodology it is the report that can serve model for subsequent case studies, economic studies, by other countries in this region or in other regions. For example, Nepal is the chair, present chair of LDC countries. We believe that there is an opportunity for Nepal to take forward this study as a model to other LDC countries.